Okay, real quick, I wanted to give you guys an example of what is called a gradient overlay layer or gradient fill layer. Um, it has a capability of just doing some really cool effects really pretty easily. And so this is a headshot I did of Brittany here um, a little while back. And you probably have seen, if you follow any of my work at all, you've probably seen the finished edit of this floating around where there's a nice... Uh, like brown hazy glow coming out of this corner. This is the straight out of camera image uh, with a little bit of Lightroom adjustments. Um, but to show you what I did, let's do duplicate the layer. Um, it was really pretty a, sim a, a, a pretty simple effect. But uh, if you go up to layer, new fill layer, and gradient. I typically would go ahead and bring this opacity down to around 67, anywhere between 50, 75 percent, whatever. Uh, not really critical at this point. You'll adjust it later on, but this gives you kind of a easy look firsthand how this is going to end up looking. And when you first bring this up, it defaults to black to transparent as far as your gradient. But there are a number of different gradients available within Photoshop, and if you go in here you can load up a bunch of different options and one of the ones that I really like having is this photographic toning. Uh, there's pastels, noise, neutral density. You take a look at some of these because you know you can get some really cool effects with this stuff but the photographic toning, especially for portraiture, um, does some cool stuff because this is how you can get some of these you know washes of browns and blues and reds really simple without going through a lot of work so I'll pick that one on this you can change the angle of it and then you know you reverse them whatever and this is what I did on this and if you want to edit how this looks whoa wrong button I hit something there <laughs> okay so these sliders down here adjust you know so this is the white on this end fading across to black down in the corner and you can just pull these back so that softens that transition down. So this is kind of how I... Yes? Yeah, we hear an airplane going overhead. That's awesome. My daughter's running around in the room too, so, you know, you'll hear her a little bit. <clears throat> it's all good. Oh. Alright, so we'll go with that and change it to like a soft light you, you, again the blending modes um, most often with this effect okay so these blending modes will change how this effect looks and as I was saying um, the soft light is probably the most common one that I use. Sometimes if you want to make everything darker and deeper toned, you can use multiply. Um, but just play around with that and see what you like as far as that is concerned. And then do the rest of the effect that I did, I simply used a large paintbrush, picked one of her skin tones here, and then just added in that in here as another uh, I think probably use a linear, a linear dodge on that and then I go back in and use the layer style option I double clicked on the the end of that layer to do that and then pull back a little bit of this to show that it doesn't quite impact the deeper shadows in there okay so that's kind of how we did that now um, I'm doing this video for for Brad who's working on a pretty dark uh, pretty cool photo right now but one of the other things you can do with this if you um, really want to get crazy um, is just switch up these colors a lot and for what he's doing I think this kind of gradient would be really cool and you can add in another see like right there I mean that 
that throws a really dark um, edgy light to it um, so play around with that going into and changing your you know your these gradients to different variations of reds and uh, a dark green if you want to put it into multiply might be really cool uh, so let me show you what that might look like if we go back to this okay and do a multiply on it then this is what I would do with that is to pull it back out of the highlights with that layer style option okay so that really punches up the contrast and gives it a green toning effect um, just a lot of cool stuff you can do with this simply using again layer layer style or sorry new fill layer and go with the gradient and then pick different gradients to play with change your multiply or or uh, soft light blending modes and again if you go into the uh, I was trying to see where to go through the menus but what I do is just double click over here on the right side of that layer and uh, it'll open up this layer style options box and you're using the blend if options to control you know underlying layers is what you want to do so as you pull these sliders around um, that impacts whether it's affecting your highlights or shadows and if you hold the alt or option key that's what splits these up so it softens you know the range of tones that it goes through instead of making it a hard edge like this so that's what you get if you don't split those up and soften it out cool all right have fun